Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. I have a bunch of you guys' orders right here. We need to get breakfast and we gotta head to the airport. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Just sent out. Let's go ahead and get some breakfast real quick and then uh, head to the airport. And we're back, guys. <laughs> we got our snacks. We got a little, uh, what is this thing called? A neck pillow? Neck pillow. We are ready to just get our packages and head over to the airport. in Seattle guys so at this point we're just waiting on our next flight so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and edit to guys' next video which I think is gonna be the Atlantis blue I think it has something to do with the Atlantis blue I think the individual color so either it's gonna be that video or something to do with the M5 because a lot of you guys have been asking where the M5 went so either it be that video or the other video I'm gonna go ahead and get into it right now before we catch our next flight in about approximately two hours and we also need to get something to eat so uh yeah I'll show you guys what we end up getting Man, that's so good. That's so good. Just landed here at the Philadelphia airport. So we, ran into, we ended up getting a car from Budgie. We actually ended up getting a truck. Surprisingly, the truck was the cheapest thing here. I thought a Prius or a Corolla would be, but I guess a Tacoma is the cheapest thing they got. And honestly, I ain't complaining. It's a pretty nice car. Believe it or not, guys, this place has a 1.5 stars. I've literally haven't seen anything in life that actually has 1.5 stars. So we literally took an entire video of this car and I'm gonna continue to record this car just for the safety of myself and uh, for content reasons. So it's a win-win. Alright guys, so after about a five hour nap, your boy was tired. We couldn't honestly sleep on the plane whatsoever. The layover time was no good either. We just ended up eating and then chilling for a little minute. But anywho, we're at the hotel. We're just gonna pretty much get some pizza, probably something to eat, and then we'll catch you guys tomorrow at the Keys Auto Show.
Guys, pulling up to the Keys event in a Tacoma. Oh man, I really wish I had my BMW. <laughs> it's all good. Is this how I think it is? <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Okay. It's famous. <laughs> We're shaking, baby. Hey, dude, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? I'm good. <laughs> um, no, my wife saw your car, bro, and I was like, <laughs> I gotta go see what's up. I love it, dude. That's a sick. I even got you my car. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got keys. We got. Oh, we got Jonathan right there. The thick yeah, F30. The the oh, sheesh. Where's it at? <laughs> oh man.
That is the end of the video. I'm super, super, super happy how everything went through. I was honestly super happy to meet a bunch of you guys. I was super happy to meet all the YouTubers. It was the first time uh, me meeting JD Cars, Thick Whips, uh, Justin Weiss, Brian, actually I saw him at Beamer Fest in 2019, but it's been a minute. And just honestly, I had such a great time with him. Even after the event, we got some pizza, got to just talk and you know, like this type of stuff I don't get to experience often. I'm, sure we just, I'm, I'm just building my own cars in my own garage, just doing my own thing. And honestly, that reminds me, like this event really reminds me what the, what the car culture is all about. Everyone was just so nice to each other. I got to meet so many of you guys. It was honestly such an amazing event. And I'm just so like, honestly, I was so excited and so happy. I was a bit nervous but at the same time everything just went honestly perfectly I mean Brian organized the event so well I'm sure him and his team uh, did a lots and lots of planning for the event I cannot believe they got an airstrip it was just absolutely so much fun I just want to thank every single one of you guys that actually made it out and I honestly cannot wait for 2022 just because honestly guys like everyone there was super cool all the youtubers there were super cool and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully in the next couple of videos guys I'm gonna be showing you guys what happened to the M5 I mean it's straight into the uh, the Atlantis blue f80 i spoke with burger tuning spoke with brian and keys motorsports we got a lot planned for this f80 and i can't wait to just get back into the builds because honestly like guys this just being at the event seeing all you guys' projects a lot of you guys with your f80s just just brought so many ideas to my head and just brought pretty much the youtube vibe back into my soul like it really i don't know how to explain it guys but like being in a car meet as big as that meeting so many different people and talking to different kinds of people like getting out there like especially when you go to an event try to get out there meet new people it was just so awesome learning why people did certain things to their cars why they built this car why they chose this car over another it was just it was just so awesome hearing stories about you know like cars mean a lot to people more than just you know a piece of machinery like cars do mean the world to a lot of people such as myself cars is everything to me so just meeting everyone in that car culture just everyone's super nice and honestly just I, I i'm like lost for words which is so amazing um I, and i just want to thank everyone that made it out there that pretty much concludes the video guys but yeah thank you all so much if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button without further ado guys i love you all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out